Hello, good people. This is Singing Dawn, and I'm Ellen, and I warmly welcome you here to this time and this place in our Zoom land of chant. Today is day 15, Alleluia. So pull up a chair, fully arrive, get yourself settled, find your feet, pelvic floor, all the way up, and welcome that energy flow through your body and your breath and your mind. Bright morning stars arising, bright morning stars arising, bright morning stars arising. Day is a breaking in my soul. So starting from today, I'm going to move the lighting of our candles uh, to later on so that it marks the transition between our learning and checking things out, the transition from that into the flow of our practice. So today we will begin our week's worth of chanting Psalm 51. Psalm 51 is the second psalm for Sunday dawn prayer called for by Benedict in his little rule. So having begun with Psalm 67, in which we were praising God's continual blessing of the cosmos, with Psalm 51, we set ourselves in the midst of this miraculous, grace-filled, continually unfolding universe, acknowledging how often we miss the mark, how often we don't get it. We don't get it about who we really are and about how and where we belong in this cosmos and the pain that that not getting it puts us in. I just want to note here that it is remarkable to me that Benedict specifically asks that with Psalm 51, an Alleluia refrain be sung. This is the only time he mentions any kind of refrain anywhere for dawn prayer. It seems to me that this is a powerful invitation, this Alleluia refrain, to focus not on our current situation and our feelings about it and our failings, but rather to focus on that mysterious nature of God that we talked about at the very beginning, that God's nature, God's name, refers to this mystery of God's always becoming in the cosmos and in us. That is to say, God's perpetual, life-giving, life-fulfilling renewal in us, of us, and through us. So the word prisms that we will use for each day this week are all verbs taken from Psalm 51, which highlight God's becoming and God's womb love for us in action wash, fill, reshape, which I'm pairing with shatter, reshatter and shape, steady, strengthen, and dance. So that's the path we'll travel throughout the week. But all of those verbs fall under the umbrella of this Alleluia refrain. So get yourselves with your breath going, and Alleluia just means praise God. <clears throat> and it's a fantastic word with these liquescent la, 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 and these vowels. So we're just going to chant Alleluia three times through. So you can feel where this sounds. Where does Alleluia sound in your body today? Alleluia. And I 
invite you to go through both the E and the A ah at the end. Alleluia. And as you're sounding it, just check through that spectrum of resonance that we sang through last week. See what you can hear sounding in each resonance as you chant. Alleluia. I'm going to try it a little higher. Alleluia. I'm going to try it lower. invite you at this time, if you're interested and have the time, to pause the video and just check out for yourself Alleluia at different registers, different volumes, different tempos, and to find the Alleluia that sounds true to you in this moment. So here we are back again. And I want to sing now the Alleluia with the tiny little tune that we're going to use for a refrain. And I've just created this little tune right out of the psalm tone we're going to use to chant it. So it goes like this. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I'll do that again. You'll notice the first two Alleluia's flow right into each other, and there's a lift before the third one. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let's do it again. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. One more time. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. So every time you see that Alleluia written in the psalm text, that's the tune that we're going to use for singing it. Okay, so now I'm going to screen share so that you can see <clears throat> Psalm 51. And I have also uploaded this to the Google Drive. The link is uh, in the description underneath the video. So uh, feel free uh, to go there and print it out for yourself. It might be easier for you to see print it out. Um, but certainly for today and any time you want, I will be screen sharing it. So I'm just going to say a brief word about the notation of the psalm tone here today. And we're going to, I'll be giving you little tidbits about this day by day this week. Um, so what you have at the beginning of the top line of music notation, it says INT, uh, which stands for introit or the way it begins. Sometimes it's also called the incipit. So there's three notes that you'll only use at the very beginning, the very first line. Da, da, da. And then the next bar, it says tenor and flex. So that's the also called the reciting note. The note tenor means the note you hold on. Da, 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 da. And that flex is when there's a very long line, uh, which we don't have in this setting, but it's good to know for the future. And then the median cadence, bah, bah, and you'll see a little white note. And that means when you have an extra syllable, you use that note. And then you see tenor or reciting note for the second part of the verse, da, 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 and soul ending, meaning that this second psalm tone has only this one ending. La, there's the reciting note. Here's the ending with that optional extra syllable. On the second line, you will see an option for if you have a strong syllable at the end of the first half of a verse, instead of going da 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 ba da, you just go up and stay up. 
And that happens in the very first line that we sing. Have mercy, tender God, and so forth. Okay. So that's all I'm going to say about the psalm tone today. We have seven days to get acquainted with the singing of this. So we're going to move now right into the singing of it. I'm going to light the candles. We will sing our opening, Holy One, Open My Lips, with the doxology. We will chant Psalm 51 with the refrain, and the doxology is included in it, and then we'll be have our ending. Here we go. Use the lighting of the candles to again settle yourself, get in touch with your own heartbeat and your own breath. And to send the arrow of your intention out into the universe. <clears throat> Holy One, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Mother and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As always before, so now and forever. Goodness, 
Lord, give me words, and I will shout your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When I offer a holocaust, the gift does not please you. So I offer my shattered spirit, a changed heart you welcome. In your love makes I unlovely, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then sacrifice will please you. Young bulls upon your altar. Glory be to the Mother and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as always before, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's take a minute to settle. Root yourself again and your breath. Find the root of the breath. Find the wings of the breath. Settle, integrate, and release the practice into the universe. So thank you so much for showing up and sharing yourself today. May Alleluia be the song we sing and the path we travel today. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.